Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make it a terrific and tracking atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. It's one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest matches. And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. This formation, Jim Beglin. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. And we're underway. Koke. Silva. Now it's Costa. Costa! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Sergio Ramos does well to read it and intercepts. Looking to fourth pitch, it's Costa! That is simply breathtaking! And if that's a sign of things to come, he could make himself unplayable here. On some occasions, when star players really mean business, the entertainment value rockets, and we could be in for a treat after such a stunning opening. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Spain go ahead, one goal to the good. And that's been levered clear. Costa takes control of it and he's on the move. He's got away. Diego Costa, he's gone for it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Massive leap! Harmlessly behind. Costa, he's got away, he's Costa! Oh, my word, my word, that is fantastic! A finish right from the top draw. All too easy, they are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Yeah, look 
can back at that. That's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So that's two now without reply. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Norway get it back again. Sergio Ramos. And it's Diego Costa. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Costa tore at. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Extravagant by any standard. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. Just ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Spain are leading with half time drawing close. Now it's Costa. Oh, he's broken through. Speculative strike. He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment, he simply... Gets his head to it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Ah, good play all round. He was well hustled and, and still got a shot away. on the first half well it's looking pretty straightforward Peter they've got themselves into a, a very good position so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success here we go again then tries to get it forward quickly Johansson Sergio Busquets and it's Diego Costa Omar El Abdullawi. Aimed long and direct. Spain with this handy looking 2 0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Cuts it out. Pushes it out wide. Jordi Alba does well there, alert. Now it's Costa. He's through, now is he in? It's Costa! Now the counter. He's off on a marauding run. Now it's Costa. Could move up a gear here. He's away. Big Costa! Chance again? No. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change.
pass. Going through. He's won an Aspas! Same again, same outcome. It's hoisted clear. Well played, he saw that coming. Defenders on the back foot. Out to the left it goes. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. And he is going into that little black book. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. <laughs> he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Some players have clearly taken issue here, and things are threatening to boil over. Spain, their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. That's the throw. There's going to be another change here. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. He's left his man. It's going to be another throw. Linus. Going through. Goes down, but nothing given. And that is that. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance, and a result which is well-deserved. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Spain simply imposed their strength.